Cellutel Communications is excited to introduce the new TELUS Optic TV service. Stop by for an in-store demonstration of the new TELUS High Definition Optic TV. First of all, I'd like to welcome everybody back to the 2011 golf season. It's been a very long winter and I know everybody's excited to get out and play some golf. So um, we're, today is going to be our very first article of the, of the season and our video and we're going to be talking about the swing motion. So essentially what the swing motion is, is it, it's more of a rotary motion rather than a lateral motion and where a lot of golfers seem to have difficulty is, is they know that the, the weight has to transfer from uh, being 50% on either foot to in your backswing being about 70% but it's how they transfer the weight that creates the difficulty. The first thing you need to understand about the golf swing or about the backswing is that it's more of a rotational motion rather than a lateral motion that we're trying to achieve. So we want to try and or attempt to rotate our body in the backswing um, and transfer our weight by letting our upper body move to the right slightly for right-handed golf. Ensure that your hips rotate in the backswing rather than hip slide or sway. You can see that this is the sway here when the hips move laterally. This is what's taking your weight to the backswing in a poor backswing. What we want to do is in the back in a proper backswing, we want to create a rotational motion. So if you see this golf club right here, as we turn back, our hips actually maintain this distance right here. And we want to we want to ensure that the hips rotate and then our upper body will take our weight to our back foot so at the top of our backswing which is right here our hips have rotated we've created a coiling motion and our weight is firmly planted about 70 percent of our weight on our back foot at this point 